In my user group next week, we're covering how to create this kitchen design. We're going to use a series of different cabinet types. Custom cabinet, base cabinet, unit. We've got doors, we've got demolition walls, we've put lights from our library, we've got stoves and range hoods from our library. So we're going to learn how to find all those different bits and pieces. But that's not what I wanted to talk about today. What I wanted to show you is how in Vectorworks 2017, we've got the ability to export and to export as a web view. When you do this, it creates an HTML file. It exports it to a Vectorworks server. Unfortunately, it only stays there for two weeks. So we need to find another way of doing it. So let's just try the export web view to start with. So what do we want? All visible objects in all layers. In other words, if I've turned the class off, don't export them. I can choose the quality. I can also launch a browser to see it. Now I'm going to turn off the upload to Vectorworks server because I want to see if I can keep a copy of this on my computer. I've already done this recently and I've exported and uploaded it to the Vectorworks server. So let me show you what it looks like. Here it is here. This is actually the same model in a Vectorworks viewer. If I use the W key, I can walk forward. Let me just change this to first person so I can move forward. The A key moves across and I can orbit as well with my mouse button down and then I can walk forward again, walk into the other room and then turn around and look at the other furniture that I've created. So I've created this furniture cabinet, this um, TV cabinet here. I've created that with the Vectorworks custom cabinet, not using the base cabinet, but the custom one. This couch is just a bit of furniture I got from the Vectorworks uh, resource manager. So let's walk back into our kitchen and I'm just going to walk over here. I want to walk across. So that's a blackboard with a texture that I've imported. And you'll notice that you can only walk so far before you bump into something. So I've bumped into the edge of the cupboard. Let's just move across. So there's my dishwasher, my other cupboards. I've got this waterfall bench top here. So this ability to export your web view, it creates a link which you can copy and you can share with other people. I don't know if anyone saw it recently, but I, I copied this and I posted it on Twitter. Of course, it's only going to last two weeks and then it won't work any longer. But the idea would be that you can give this to your client. Your client can walk around your Vectorworks model without any special software at all. They can just walk around because they will have that link. So I think that's pretty cool. So let's go back to Vectorworks and let's export this and save it to our computer. I'm just going to put this on my desktop. I'm just going to save it to my computer. And then we just have to wait for Vectorworks to export all those objects. All right, so it's finished exporting. Here it is here. And all I need to do is to find the HTML file, this one here, double click on that, and it will open in my standard browser. You might notice that it's here, which means that you can actually copy the entire folder and keep it forever, send it to your client, and they can look at your Vectorworks model without any special software. And you notice it's exactly the same thing. So there's a first person, which is the one that allows you to walk around. There's the 360, so if it's on a tablet device, you can use the 360 and you can actually fly around in stereoscopic mode. If you need help, just click on the help. It'll actually tell you where all the controls are, which is really pretty cool. And just click away from it and that'll hide that. So that's the web viewer. So you can see you can export it to a server, give the client the link, only lasts two weeks or you can save it on your computer and send them the entire folder, which is pretty cool. If you might remember, it's this one here. All I need to do is to right click, compress that. There it is, it's only seven and a half megabytes. You can email that to somebody.